Hey, this is Brian with The Balanced Dog, and today I want to kind of go over uh, the, the habit loop um, and how that can be applied. Uh, hi, buddy. How that can be applied to dogs um, as well as people. So um, kind of uh, setting up, when we look at a scenario maybe with a person, um, let's say the person gets stressed and then they go eat a pint of Ben Jerry's and then they feel better for a while, right? And um, so that basically is that, has become that person's habit loop on how they cope with stress. So what we look at is there's a cue, there's a routine, and then there's a reward. So the trick is, is you can't keep the cue and the reward the same, but we're gonna change the routine. So in that scenario with that person, let's say they get stressed. So whatever that stressor is, that's the cue. The routine is Ben and Jerry's, and then they feel good for a short period of time, right? So if we look at that and say, okay, here's the cue, the stressor, and then the routine is they go out and they do a 15-minute walk, or they go do a 15-minute meditation, right? And then the reward is the same. There's a, there's a pleasure that's being uh, served with the ice cream, but again, it's, it's a short-lived one but if they go for a 15 minute walk outside and into nature or they do a, a 10 or 15 minute meditation there's a reward that's decreasing the stress but in a in a better way in a, in a way that in the long run will be more beneficial so when i look at that with dogs like right here on cue this is tioga and he's one of my new dogs and he was um you know he's a very low defense dog high flight He's got really high pack drive and his prey drive, we're just starting to see it come out more and more that he's getting more confident, is, is about medium, right? So when he came to me, he wasn't um, around people. He was in a hoarding situation. So, you know, he got a lot of good socializing with dogs and that's what I, you know, what really appealed to me about him is his high pack drive. So I knew I was gonna be able to, to work on these behaviors with people and uh, noises and stuff like that. So. So for instance, with him, what he was doing was when he was out here in the yard and if I moved too quick, um, it startled him. So he would run out of the yard up to the stairs and get by the screen door. And when I would let him in, he would just go into flight and go into his crate. So I wanted to change all of that and make it a, a better situation for him. So when you look at, if we look at, okay, there's his habit loop, he gets startled you know, so the, the sound or the movement was the cue for him to go into flight. And then the reward was to um, be up on the deck or to go into flight into his crate, right, for safety. So I've been working on changing that habit loop to um, the cue's the same. So if I move too quick, he's getting much better at it. If I move too quick or there's a loud sound, that, that creates the routine of flight and then him moving away from that, getting away from that situation is the reward for him, which at that time is safety. So I can get away from it, then I feel safe. So I wanted to um, rebuild that, that loop. It's, it can be phrased in, in other ways too, um, you know, creating a new neural pathway or uh, reframing something for the dog. Uh, so they're all very similar. So what I, worked on was building a good recall on him first so that when he went into flight the trigger or the cue was the same whether it was me moving too quick or or if if I raised my voice to say hi to the neighbor um, that would startle him as well and he would go into flight so every time he did that I would recall him and I'd recall him when he got to the top of the deck and then I started to shorten it and, and catch him sooner just before he went up the stairs and I recalled him back to me <coughs> excuse me so that was the beginning of the new habit loop. So we, we still had the cue, the sound or whatever it was that triggered the flight, but the routine changed. Instead of allowing the flight, uh, I recalled him back to me. And then the reward was still the same. He felt safe next to me. That was the goal is to teach him that when you go in the flight, the reward is come back to me or, or to the handler. And so that's worked really well. And then in addition to that, oh, look at, I gotta pay him big bucks. 
I did the place work with him as well, so that if he got startled or, or nervous about something, he would start to go over there and hang out. So another quick scenario would be something like a dog reactive dog. And so what their, their pathway or their habit loop looks like is they hear a dog, see a dog, and then that's their cue. And then their, their routine is they start to pull on the leash or they start to bark or they start to lunge. And then the reward is that dog goes away, right? Because most likely that dog is passing by on a walk or passing by the house or whatever the case might be. So for the dog, he's created his own reward is in his mind, he sent the dog away. So I changed that one by first building a good recall again, and then bringing a dog or two out here in my yard. And then I take the, the training dog out into the field and I start letting them push out toward, towards my dogs. And so when I see those cues of him going into that behavior, I want to change the routine, which is I recall them back, right? Because most dogs that are going out and being reactive, they're not confident dogs. So the more I can teach them come back to here to safety, that's the reward, right? So it's sees a dog, that's the cue. The routine is now, the new routine is I recall them away from the dog. And the reward is the dog went away. But the difference is instead of him thinking he made the dog go away, I actually, by recalling him, that was even a bigger reward because not only did the distraction or the stimulus no longer was a concern to him and in his mind went away, but, but the, the feeling or the uh, psyche of the dog is much healthier because now he's back next to me or the handler where he feels safe. You know, so that's just a basic sort of synopsis of, of looking at changing behaviors by almost looking at the, the dogs, what's this dog's habit, you know, and then looking at the habit loop and then how can we change the routine but keeping the, the cue and the reward the same. So I hope that helps. And Mr. Tyogo back there is chilling, so it seems to be working well. Thanks for watching.